Welcome to this how-to guide series brought to you by the Center for Innovation in Learning and Teaching at the University of Cape Town. If this presentation feels a little rough around the edges, it's because we're aiming to show what you can do in limited time with simple tools. That's because we believe in the everyday user using tools and resources that you have access to to make material that represents your world. Back to thinking about the lessons tool. Once upon a time, when staff used Vula, they simply took all the material they had and dumped it in the resources folder. The resources folders could be as messy or as tidy or as organized as the staff member creating them. So if you look at this one over here, for example, you'll see that the person has theme two and theme three. Theme one doesn't appear to exist. There's a theme five, but no theme four. It's a slightly messy environment for a student to work in. What we have now is the lessons tool. The lessons tool is a tool in Vula that allows an instructor to organize resources, activities, and media on a single page. You can have as many lessons pages in your site as you need. With lessons, you can organize the course by unit, module, week, topic, or any other grouping that makes sense to you. Lessons page pages can be customized, um, and we'll look at that in a little more detail in a moment. Lessons pages are incredibly versatile and may contain anything from as simple as a page title to text content, which is on the page itself links to various items, including resources in um, files in resources, published assessments, forums, subpages or student pages. It may allow you to have student comment on the page um, and so on. Why should you think about the lessons tool? The lessons tool really creates a structured learning process for students to follow. You can organize it in such a way that it mimics classroom or face-to-face -face structures or supplements them by some other kind of logic. But it is a space that brings all the activities, resources, and links pertinent to a topic or a moment in time for your students to one place, and in so doing, really supports student learning. Let's look at some examples. This first example is from a course where the lessons tool is used just once and the person has renamed it Assessment Online. This screenshot is of the actual lessons tool itself open, and so you'll see that there is um, a menu bar up at the top here. You can add different kinds of content. You can reorder the content on the page, and you can see that this person has organized it by, has added sub-pages sub and organized those by days. So day one and a date, day two, day three, day four, day five. They should probably put dates next to all of these as well. So this is a single lesson tool with multiple sub pages. When you click on the days, it takes you to um, additional content for that day. So when a student gets here, everything that they would need to do over this week is in one place. Let's look at another example. In this case, what the lecturer has done or the designer has done is they've created multiple lessons tools. You'll see that each time there's a little book there, that's the lessons tool at work. And if you clicked on week one, exploring the less, um, exploring context, these are the different activities for that week. So it's just another way of exploiting the versatility of the lessons tool for structuring student learning. You'll also notice while we're here, this bit that's in green over here is a week that hasn't been released yet. So every time that it's in green, you've got a tool that's available to the course convener or the course lecturers, but isn't visible to the students. So you could plan all of this in advance, the little green bits, and release them to the students as you needed. You could preset the releases or you could do them manually. Let's look very quickly at example three. Example three is where we look in a little bit more detail at what's hiding underneath um, one of the items on the assessment online block over here. You go to day two and you can see that this person has embedded a video, that's a video that can be played um, as one of the activities on a sub page of the lessons tool. 
they've given the person an activity to do and instructed them to go to blogs in Vula to complete that. And then they've given them a whole lot of additional resources and each of those underlined URLs takes the person or each of those underlined bits of text hides the URL which takes the user, the student, directly to the reading. And so that means that as a student, if I logged on on day two, I would know exactly what I need to do. Watch the seven minute video, look at the transcript if I wanted to, read two group blogs and comment on them, and maybe do one or two of the readings over here. So if using lessons is starting to sound like something that you'd be quite excited by, there are a number of places where you can get some additional help. The first place is actually to start with Vula. And all that you need to do is that you log into Vula, you go to the help function in Vula, you type the word lessons into the help function, sorry, you type the word lessons into the help function and a whole lot of different how do I use the lessons tool, how do I create a new lessons page, all of these particular resources pop up which allows you to get a little bit more input on how to use the lessons tool in Vula. If you're looking for more resources you can find those at the UCT SALT website which is brought to you by the Center for Innovation in Learning and Teaching. All of the images in this screencast are publicly available and freely reusable so please feel free to reuse this screencast. Thanks so much for listening and bye for now.